This is the journey to one Africa. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Excellencia William Samu. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Mr. William Samuel Ruto. Your Excellency, Mr. Azali Asumani, Chair of the African Union. Your Excellency, Mr. Musa Faki, the Chair of the African Union Commission. Your Excellencies, First Ladies, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. Allow me, Your Excellencies, to present to you, first of all, the regard of His Excellency, Mr. João Lorenzo, the President of the Republic of Angola, whom I have the honor of representing in this August summit attended by member states with the aim of contributing to finding durable solutions to address global challenges related to the climate change on our continent. We would like to take advantage of this opportunity to applaud the government of Kenya for the warm welcome I received as well as how the, well, the warm welcome to the Angolan delegation. We would like to applaud the African Union for this important initiative. We would also like to applaud His Excellency William Ruto, the President of Kenya, who is the coordinator of the Committee of African Heads of State and Government for Climate Change, for incentivizing member States to contribute for the process of green transformation of the continent and for the development of the continent, human and natural resources. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, about half a century ago, the environment came to the center of the development of human development. Just like other regions, Africa has been affected by the global shocks, including the global financial crisis, the increasingly growing impact of climate change and of extreme weather events such as floods and droughts, which amount to a threat to the African economies, which have, has had a negative impact on the implementation of the different national programs and which has been preventing us from achieving our sustainable development goals. Ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellencies, the President of the Republic of Angola, João Manuel Gonçalves Lourenço, continues to prioritize issues related to climate change through the National Program for Sustainable Development 2022 to 2027, which has defined as a priority food security, family agriculture, local development, and adaptation to climate change, the education, health, for greater development of human capital, the creation of inclusive employment, as well as modernization and expansion of national infrastructures, both port and road infrastructures, the development of industrial centers to support the diversification of our economy and sustainable growth. Ladies and gentlemen, Africa is a continent rich in opportunities where women and youth are some of the greater, greatest producers of food supplies. Therefore, we must fund initiatives and projects that involve women and youth. We need to finance green employment for the youth in order to increase and strengthen the adaptation and resilience of our communities and promote sustainable development. Angola is fully committed 
with the implementation of the UN Framework for Climate Change. For that reason, we have been implementing policies and action plans such as the National Strategy for Climate Change 2022-2035. This strategy aims to address the challenges launched by the Paris Agreement and to assure to implement the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals as well as establish the vision of the African policy for the Angolan policy for 2035. Out of its own initiative, the Republic of Angola is developing an energy, a diversified energy program, and today it incentivizes energy transition for clean and renewable energies through the implementation of two projects, which is the project of the photovoltaic panel which will be producing 235 megawatts, which will help reduce the impact of the greenhouse, greenhouses gas emission to the tune of 935,000 tons a year. We are also building five photovoltaic parks in five provinces in Angola. When it comes to adaptation to climate change, we have been implementing mitigation activities to help mitigate the impact of the drought in Angola. The country has invested more than $130 million for the construction of the Kafu Channel, an infrastructure that will bring water to the communities affected by the drought, as well as to support agricultural activities, in this way building the resilience of our rural communities. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we acknowledge that the road is long. With regards to technological solutions and innovative solutions for climate challenges, the responsible sustainable production and consumption on that end, we are working with the African group, implementing initiatives that will allow us to honor international commitments, especially when it comes to increasing and ensuring that at least 70% of our energy comes from renewable sources by 2035. Ladies and gentlemen, the damage and the losses Africa is suffering as a result of climate change a high. They have been contributing for social instability. They have been contributing to mass displacement and have been contributing to the existence of conflicts. Angola, therefore, calls for a fairer and more equitable global partnership. Angola believes that the investment in climate projects in Africa have not been will not only benefit African nation but will contribute for climate for global climate stability. We must act fast. And to conclude I would like to thank everyone who helped organize the summit and I would like to reiterate the commitment of Angola with equa towards equality, resilience, and towards everything related to the progress of our beloved Africa. I would like to reiterate our trust in the African Union and in the international community so that we can to so that together we can face challenges associated with climate change. Together we can overcome the obstacles and build a better future for communities, for Africa, and for the world. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much.